What happens if you build a life around heading outside every single day, no matter what? I'm Amy Bouchotts, and this is the Humans Outside Weekly Outdoor Diary, where I share with you my own insights from heading into nature every single day, no matter the weather. This is my real life, including more than my share of fails, as I tackle the Humans Outside 365 Challenge. Are you ready? Let's go. It sounds wild to say this. I actually can't believe that it's something I'm saying, but here it goes. My family and I are part of a new feature-length documentary premiering at Universal Studios in LA, streaming on PBS Now, and playing in 14 cities nationwide in May 2023. And I want you to watch it too. Titled Unconditional, the film follows three families, including mine, exploring how mental health is, in the words of director Richard Louis, quote, not what we think it is. You can go right now and see the trailer at unconditionalmovie.com or find a quick link to it at humansoutside.com forward slash links or find it in the show notes. You know I started Humans Outside to share my own journey spending time outside, much of it as a form of mental health. But outside of a few episodes about veteran issues, I don't talk a lot of here about my family challenges around the hidden injuries of mental health in the form of PTSD and a traumatic brain injury my husband sustained as part of his military service. But it's a big deal that impacts every aspect of our lives. And we're not alone on this journey. Here's what Richard Louis, whose own family is also in the film, says about his documentary. Mental health, he says, is not only the polar extremes of what the movies or media make it out to be. It also comes in shades of gray and in places we do not expect or know it. It is also not a subject that is inherently negative. Mental health can be positive. It can be about strength. And many times it is. We follow three families, he writes. Kate, who is a mental health expert with a terminal diagnosis. Luke, a veteran who spent time in Afghanistan, struggles with PTSD and TBI. And my dad, Richard writes, Stephen, who spent his career as a social worker caring for senior citizens and battles his eighth year of Alzheimer's. Each family struggles and celebrates while caring for loved ones. Kate's husband, Shane, feels unprepared to become the head of the household and lose the love of his life. But he finds strength and power because a pandemic keeps him home for two years. Luke's wife, Amy, keeps her family together, realizing she doesn't need to know everything she wants to, in the end learning ways to laugh more heartily than she ever has. Okay, that's what Richard says about the film. But here's why I think you should watch it. It's my story, our story, of mental health outside and what you see here on Humans Outside. But it's not really about my family so much as it is about the hidden stuff that so many people are dealing with both in and outside the veteran and military communities. It's about finding joy and hope and strength and about pushing through our individual challenges while leaning on the strength of each other. The film is a big deal to us because it's raw, so raw, but also because of what we hope it will do. Because here's the big picture. Whenever you're dealing with something hard, mental health, limitations, whatever, it can be very isolating. It is easy to feel like you're completely alone in the battle. It can be easy to try to hide, to put on a good face. But you are not alone. Other people are dealing with this too. And the only way we can make sure this myth of being alone gets dispelled is by talking about it. And let me tell you, spending hours and hours over years being so raw and talking about these challenges with a film crew, that is the opposite of not talking about it. That's as loudly talking about it as you can get in my experience. Doing that was scary. And seeing it on film, knowing that literally anyone could be out there right now watching me talk about our family's challenges on their local PBS station, that is terrifying. But I did it because I want you to see it. I want you to know you're not alone. And if this isn't a battle you fought, I want you to know that next door or down the block, someone might be fighting a battle you literally cannot see. Okay, so how do you watch it? Here's the rundown as of the time of this recording. From May 3rd to 9th, you can see this film in a local theater if you live in Los Angeles, Seattle, New York, Baltimore, Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, Houston, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Washington, D.C., Cleveland, Boston, or Hartford. You can watch it on your local PBS station sometime in May. You'll need to check your local listings. If you're here in Alaska, that will be May 29th at 9 p.m., which is past my bedtime if we're being honest, but it's fine. 
You can find it streaming on a PBS app starting May 2nd. And after July, you can still stream it that way, but you'll need to be a PBS Passport member, which is fine because supporting local public television is a cool way to make sure we always have a way to watch the most important show ever made, Sesame Street. And starting May 31st, you can rent it on Amazon Prime or Apple TV. In short, there are a lot of ways to watch the film. <laughs> I'm actually recording this diary earlier than I normally do, because when you hear this episode first released will be the day of the film premiere in Los Angeles, and my family will be attending. But while we're doing that, you can see the film too, and I hope you do, because at the end of the day, a story is a gift that has meaning, but it only has that meaning if it is shared and then received. I hope my story as it's shared in this film project is a gift for you and that it makes you feel seen or gives you a window into the world. You can see a window into my world at Humans Outside on Facebook and Instagram. And I want to see your world too. Share it with hashtag humansoutside365. Until next time, we'll see you out there. <laughs>